You know, I've got images stuck in my head. There's Clark Gable in Gone with the Wind, and then there is uh, the more sinister Al Pacino in The Godfather. Both of these men were wearing a three-piece suit, and that's really what I'm after this winter. I want to get myself the perfect three-piece suit. So knowing what you want, now that's half the battle won, but for the rest of the half, you need good guidance, and which is why I'm at uh, Brooks Brothers, waiting uh, for uh, Andy to join me. He's going to tell me what makes a good three-piece suit. Hi Andy. Hi Vikram, welcome to Brooks Brothers. Thanks very much for having me over. No, thank you for coming in today. Absolutely. Andy, here I am to uh, look for a three-piece suit. And uh, I've been wondering whether, you know, you should go for a custom-made, a bespoke suit. Or then, uh, like uh, Brooks Brothers offers, you go for the made-to-measure variety. So how does one uh, choose between these two options? There's obviously a lot to choose from when you're doing uh, tailored clothing. For us, Made to Measure offers many options already for you. So in a three-piece suit, you'll be able to change the, the length of the vest already with Made to Measure. And as obviously still with the Made to Measure, we're fitting you completely for your measurements. I'm thinking three-piece suit, but obviously there are uh, questions about adding an extra garment on your body because one would think that would add bulk and that is not something that you're looking for, right? You Actually, there's a, the opposite way to look at that is that the three-piece suit uh, and the waistcoat can complement you because the, the waistcoat can actually hold some of the girth in if, if you had some girth. <laughs> Two key things with fitting the waistcoat properly. Uh, one is obviously the, the anchoring of it and the, the vest, uh, uh, the height, so that it frames you well. Uh, secondly is obviously the lines that hold you on the sides so that the front panels lay very clean. What about the height of a person? You obviously take that into account and, you know, because uh, I've understood that the deeper the V it cuts, it gives you a, a taller stance, it gives you that level of confidence as well. You want to balance that actually to your jacket. So we're fitting the jacket uh, to that right gorge, to that right V that you're describing. Then we match the waistcoat to, to complement the exact same thing. For like myself, where I'm not as tall, I like a, a longer gorge, deeper gorge, so it helps elongate me a little bit more. All right, so then uh, where does one begin? Because now that's the idea for me to get cracking on getting myself a three piece. Where does one well, start? You know, uh, two key components. You've done a great job by having, having this vision in mind of the three piece suit. So the next most important thing is the fabric. Let's start with the fabric. Sounds great. Andy has given me a fair idea of how I should get my three piece suit constructed. But now it's time to select the fabric. And he sits me down at the trunk and takes me through the fabric books. A wide collection of 100% wool Super 120s is what we look at. The fabric is fine and long lasting and not bad for Indian weather. And he suggests I keep the palette clean, greys and navy blues. The timeless classics work well, he says, not least because they go with various shades. I go with the expert and opt for a charcoal grey. Beautiful. So this is very rich. It's not too not too dark, not too light, and it has it has a shark skin feel to it. So uh, it's it's very versatile. Sounds good. This is uh, very close to what I had in mind, and uh, like you said, it's uh, got a little bit of that shark skin uh, pattern happening to it as well. Uh, and if it blends very well, something that I can wear during the day and goes into the night, then this probably would be. Step one done. Now for the fittings. This one's crucial, for nothing works better than a well-fitted suit. Andy gives me a Fitzgerald jacket to try on first. It's an American-style dinner jacket with narrow labels and a slightly boxy fit. Since my frame allows me a snug fit, I tell him so. After all, a three-piece means more layers of clothing and I don't want to look like I've suddenly bulked up. So Andy puts me in a Milano jacket. It's the Italian cut, as the name suggests. Of course, I like this cut better with the softer shoulders and for the way it holds the body. Andy takes my measurements. You're at 46 here. All right. Oh, maybe you don't want to share all of that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> with that, I'm done for the day. The next time I come, my three-piece suit is going to be ready for delivery. A couple of weeks later, I'm ready for my three-piece. But before I head to the American Brooks Brothers, I make a pit stop at the very British Thomas Fink at the Palladium in Mumbai to scout for an apt shirt and some accessories. Yes, the classic white shirt, always an option. 
but I'm playing with something more edgy and fun in my head. Stripes, checks, mixing patterns perhaps, a cool tie, cufflinks. Now that's not a maybe, I definitely need a good pair. And yes, a pocket square for sure. When choosing a shirt to go with your three-piece suit, uh, you could go with the classic white or that uh, shirt where you have a differently coloured collar. But what I've done is a bit of a mix and match of patterns, perhaps inspired by this mannequin over here. But make sure, because you're going to wear this inside a three-piece suit, uh, you need to make sure that the fit is absolutely right. It sits well on the shoulders, it's holding your arms really well. Besides that, you can always accessorize. So if you want a tie, this is the one I have chosen. Make sure that it's not too broad. Essentially, it's got that uh, Zodiac print uh, design. It kind of works well. It's a little bit uh, funky. But if you're not going to do the tie, which is something that I'm thinking, then you always must do the pocket square. Like uh, this one that I picked up, uh, the cheeky fox design that Thomas Pink has, or perhaps this nice uh, red and blue that could go very well with the charcoal gray suit. And essentially, cufflinks. A shirt with cufflinks goes very well with the formality of a three-piece suit. And I've kept that uh, Zodiac design going. This one is my own Zodiac. Uh, the crab, the cancer, it works very well. Back at Brooks Brothers for my suit. Andy brings it over and now I can't wait to try it on. To see if my hunt for the perfect three-piece has found its destination. I've got uh, one piece of the three piece on and now I'm waiting for the other two. I slip into the waistcoat and Andy tightens it for me so it's all tucked in well. The waistcoat I notice has the slanting hacker style pockets. It retains the classic five button look. The jacket comes next, it's a good snug fit. We try both the open and the closed button look. I think it looks much better with the buttons of the jacket open. It helps flaunt that waistcoat. Four buttons on the sleeve and pockets with flaps. A pocket square thrown in, which I particularly like. And my three-piece is ready for the winter ahead. Good to go for a wedding reception or in fact, any social do.